Hi there. Uh, before we jump to option Greeks, uh, there's one really interesting derivative contract which we all need to understand. Or let it say an OTC contract, so not really you will be not not that you'll be able to find it over the exchange, but it is something that is worth understanding, uh, which is swaption. All right. So it is a combination of both swap and option. All right. So you get an option to enter into a swap or not. All right. So that is the basic idea. So it's a combination of both the swap as well as the option that we have discussed so far. So let's see how things you know work out here. So swaption gives you an option uh, to the holder, whether uh, to the uh, gives you an option or gives you the right to enter into an interest rate swap or not. All right. So swaption gives the owner the right whether he wants to enter into a swap or not. All right. So that is the whole idea. So now there are two types of swaptions that we have. One is payer swaption and the other one is receiver swaption. So what exactly is payer swaption? Payer so, uh, swaption gives the person, the holder, the right to enter as a fixed rate payer. To enter as a fixed rate payer. All right. So given that if somebody is owning or somebody has gone long payer swaption, he'll get the right to enter as a fixed rate payer. All right. Here we'll always be discussing from the perspective of the fixed fixed rate person. All right, we'll never be talking from the perspective of the floating rate side. We'll always be talking from the perspective of the fixed rate side. So when we talk about payer swaption, we get to enter into a swap as a fixed rate payer. As a fixed rate payer. All right, so that is the whole idea. All right, at a predetermined rate, obviously, you know, you get to enter into a swap uh, into a into a swap as a fixed rate payer at a predetermined rate at a uh, till a certain point in time that is given given and likewise we also have receiver swap option where in which the person gets the right to enter as a fixed rate receiver as a fixed rate receiver so whosoever is the owner of a receiver swap option or whosoever has gone long receiver swap option will have the right to enter as a fixed rate receiver all right, again, I'm talking from the perspective of the fixed rate side. I'm not talking from the perspective of the floating rate side. So if you are entering as a, uh, if you are, in, if you're going long payers option, you get the right to enter as the fixed rate payer. And if you're going long uh, receivers option, you get, uh, you're getting the right to enter as a fixed rate receiver. All right, so that is the whole idea. Uh, now, you know, I will be keeping all the calculations aside because those are not really important from the examination point of view. You can simply have a look from your textbooks. But what I really want you to know is some equivalences and at the very same time what you know these two gentlemen would do given the interest rates go up or given the interest rates go down. How, what contract would be valuable for which party at what point in time. Alright. So say for example when interest rates go up. Alright. When interest rates go up. So what is more valuable. Alright. What is more valuable. Payer option is more valuable. Let's understand why. Alright. When the interest rates are going up, payer swap option is more valuable because in the payer swap option you get to be a fixed rate payer. All right, you get to be a fixed rate payer. So given that you are entering into an option, all right, and you're getting to become a fixed rate payer, you'll definitely become one because the interest rates are rising. And if in a swap, if you're becoming a fixed rate payer, what you will be receiving, you will be receiving floating interest rate. All right, so. What is happening here is in the markets, the interest rates are going up. And when the interest rates are going up, I am seeing that it is an opportunity for me to exercise my payer swap option and become what? And become a fixed rate payer so that I start receiving what? I start receiving floating interest rate. All right, that is the whole idea here that given that you, you know, you see that the interest rates go up, you would always want to receive floating. Uh, all right, that should be your perspective. All right, when the interest rates are going up, you'll always want to receive floating. And in a swap, if you want to receive floating, you'll have to pay fix. All right, and since here we're talking about swap option, you would want to be the fixed payer. And how do you become a fixed payer? When you have a payer swap option. All right, so the value for the payer swap option increases when the interest rates are going up. All right, goes without saying, he'll exercise and enter into a swap uh, when the market rate is greater than the exercise rate. Very simple. Uh, the whole idea is uh, pretty simple that 
uh, he'll enter into this contract he'll, when he's seeing that the market interest rates are going up compared vis the exercise rate he'll enter into this contract and become a fixed rate payer and start receiving floating all right uh, at the very same time when the interest rates go down you uh, would want to pay floating all right if the interest rates are going down you would want to pay floating and start receiving what start receiving fixed and in such cases receiver swap option becomes the more valuable swap option here all right uh, it's uh, receiver swap option becomes the more valuable uh, swap option here because uh, you th in this one you get an opportunity to receive fixed and pay floating all right and that is what you want when the interest rate starts to go down so when the market interest rate you know is less than the exercise rate that is when a uh, person would exercise his receiver swap option rights and automatically he'll work this out all right so that is uh, about uh, swap options all right about both uh, receiver swap option and payer swap option there there's one formula to calculate uh, the exact uh, value of call and put but i am not really uh, i do not really think that is testable because it has never been tested so far so that is one thing uh, some replication i want you to uh, want to discuss with you so one is receiver swap all right this is a normal swap all right this is a normal swap what is it it is a receiver swap means what that you will be receiving fixed and you'll be paying floating all right you do not have an option here this is an obligation all right both the things are an obligation you will be receiving fixed and you'll be paying floating it's a normal swap all right if it were an option we would have you know changed the word from swap to swap option keep that thing in mind how you can replicate this in the market or how you can create an equivalence out of uh, this so you can enter as a long receiver swap option or a long receiver swap option so for this person long since this is an option now or right, since this is an option now so long receiver swap option gains when the interest rates go down when the interest rates go down or right, let we saw it here uh, when the interest rates go down that is when he gains all right and likewise uh, you are becoming what you are becoming short payer swap option short payers swap option means what uh, when the interest rates go up short payer uh, when the interest rates go up payers swap option starts to win all right payers swap option starts to win but here you have taken the uh, opposite position so when the interest rates go up you start to lose all right so that is what you have in the right hand side all right that is what you have it in the right hand side now what you need to look at is the is the left hand side is the same case here as well so you are receiving fixed and paying floating now if the interest rates go down all right in this case you will be paying lesser so you'll gain and if the interest rates go up you will start losing because you'll have to pay floating or you'd have to pay floating you will be paying the higher amount all right so as you can see on the left hand side you have two parts interest rates going down you are gaining interest rates rising you're losing likewise on the right hand side you also have two parts when the interest rates are going down you are gaining which is equivalent to this part on the left hand side and on the right hand side the other thing that you have is when the interest rates go up you start losing and that you have it here as well all right so pretty simple uh, quite simple to understand this so i am wanting all of you to you know put a little stress on swap options because this is something that is interesting uh, not the only calculations part but at least on the equivalences equivalence part and the meaning of it all right after this we'll be discussing a lot of option greeks uh all the factors that we have seen so far that affects the option value or the option price the call premium or the put premium all those things we'll be discussing one by one in detail all right thank you